This is a special edition of the Rocky Point Podcast. It's a unique series we're calling the 12 Dogs of Christmas. In each of the days leading up to Christmas 2019, we'll feature a brief but heart-tugging story of one of the four-legged residents at Barb's Dog Rescue, a fixture in Puerto Penasco. Welcome Puerto Penasco lovers. This is the Rocky Point Podcast with award-winning host Thomas Baldrick. The dogs say woof woof, and I say hello and welcome, bienvenidos. I'm Thomas Baldrick. Thanks for being with us. I'm here because I want to help. So if you don't like the idea of the 12 dogs of Christmas, don't blame Barb. Blame me. I'm grateful to call this woman my friend. I don't know who adopted who. I just know I'm glad it happened. I enjoy hanging out with the woman. I enjoy laughing with her. She's a hoot. And I can't help but admire her going about the daily grind of her mission. Rescuing dogs can be exhausting, frustrating, and overwhelming. Barb is a wonder woman a mighty inspiration and example of courage and strength, transforming the pain of a loving mother's broken heart into kindness, urgent help, and hope for broken dogs in dire need of a rescue. Since you are tuned in to the 12 Dogs of Christmas, let me go out on a limb and guess you have a special place in your heart for animals and or you're a dog lover. In either case, Let me tell you, not everyone is like you. Not everyone is an animal lover or a dog lover. In fact, some people couldn't be more different than you. They are guilty of unimaginable animal cruelty and unspeakable atrocities against innocent dogs. Not every dog is a family treasure or a woman or man's best friend. Barb's Dog Rescue serves like a last chance and a second chance for hundreds and hundreds of dogs each year. It provides life-saving care, love, shelter, and treatment. The luckiest dogs? Well, they actually get rescued twice. Think about it. First, they go to Barb's Dog Rescue, where they are given the food, care, and love they need to be helped and healed physically and emotionally. Then, they get adopted, and they enjoy new lives and new loves with a forever family. The luckiest dogs are often the adorable and playful young puppies and the cute and cuddly little dogs. Most Americans adopting dogs prefer females. As for the boys and the bigger girls, well, for them, Barb's Dog Rescue is much more like Barb's Dog Sanctuary. This busy safe haven becomes their forever home, where they will live out their days with their needs met, with food, shelter, care, and friends. Above all, completely free from abuse or neglect. These are the kind of dogs that we're giving much needed love and attention to in this 12 Dogs of Christmas series. You know, Barb says, every dog that comes through her rescue has a story. She is absolutely right. Here's proof. Hello, I'm Poshi. Have you ever heard the saying, one person's trash is another one's treasure? I've not only heard it, I've lived it. You see, about six years ago as a little boy, I was dumped at Barb's Dog Rescue. It happens a lot here. It was me and another dog. Barb kindly tried to keep us together, but the other dog didn't want in. And he sat at my fence in the front and cried and cried and cried and cried to get back in here. I think she's exaggerating. Look at me. Do I seem like a guy who would want love and attention? In dog speak, Hoshi means enthusiastic. Today, I am valued like a treasure here. I have tons of dog friends. Barb and the staff love me. And the rescue's biggest supporter, Jim? Well, I'm his favorite dog. I can tell. I've got Jim wrapped around what used to be my little paw. 
But Jim and his wife Mary, they can't take home every dog. Barb is surprised no one outside of the rescue would ever give me a chance. Hi, buddy. Hi. I'm surprised too, and disappointed. The bad news is, people always see a big strong boy like me jumping and say, Oh, Poshi needs training. Well, okay, fine. But you can teach an old dog like me new tricks. All you need is love. I know I'd be perfect for a large family or an active person who loves the outdoors. Now the good news. I already know how to be super friendly and affectionate, and as the Christmas carol goes, I love kids from 1 to 92. If I don't get adopted, my Christmas wish is you'll help me say thank you to Barb's Dog Rescue for all they've done for me. That story is sad, but true. And you know, more and more in my life, I find myself asking a question, whether it's about dogs, whether it's about is Rocky Point safe? I find myself asking the question, how can people be so mean? I don't know the answer to that question. If I did, I'd be sharing it right now, believe me. But what I do know in this moment is that Barb's Dog Rescue is in fact the answer for countless dogs that need to be rescued. It's the answer for countless humans who want or need more love in their lives or in their homes. And I know it's the answer for many people who love dogs who just want to do something to help. And now this is the point in this podcast episode where you can help to give this story more of a happy ending. If you can find it in your heart and your budget, there are ways you can give to help Poshi. One, you could be the very special person who's got the patience, love, and time it will take to adopt Poshi and provide him a loving forever home. Number two, you could bring food for Poshi on your next trip to Rocky Point and spend time meeting him in person. Three, you could make a donation to sponsor Poshi and help with the cost to provide him with food, necessary medical and dental treatment, and other forms of care for him to live a better life. Just click on the link for Poshi's story. You'll find it on the websites and social media properties of Barb's Dog Rescue and the Rocky Point Podcast. Give if you can and receive the joys of feeling like one of Santa's elves for Poshi this Christmas. I'm Thomas Balder. Be sure to like and follow us so you don't miss any of the 12 Dogs of Christmas. Thank you for your time and your support. On behalf of all the elves at Barb's Dog Rescue, we wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and Happy New Year. Until next time, adios, friends. We appreciate you being part of the 12 Dogs of Christmas and the Rocky Point Podcast. Mm -hmm.